Hey everybody, this is Perch, and I got a request to talk about this issue um, on a number of different fronts. I, I hear about this comic from time to time, and it's always sort of an odd one because nobody seems happy with it, yet nobody wants to say they're unhappy with it. And the reason why people are unhappy with it are kind of all over the place. So let me try and kind of dive into what's going on here. And this, this will wander into my personal opinion yeah, uh, quite a bit. Because I don't know how else you could really kind of wrap your head around this one. So we're talking, of course, about Astonishing X-Men number uh, 51. This was back in 2012. So keep in mind the, the dates and everything, because I think it is important. And this title was billed as, uh, you know, the, the, the solicitation was, quote, finally, quote, the marriage of uh, North Star and Kyle. Um, okay, for the... Uh, there's a lot of things that, that are weird about how this issue was played out. The actual wedding of Northstar to another man is, is not really one of them. Northstar had been, uh, you know, canic canically, canic uh, he'd been gay since the 90s. And I think his his outing of screaming, I am gay, uh, it, which was very, very weird uh, in how it was played off. Um, it was, uh, you know, that not... <laughs> not not the best uh, way to do it, I, but you know, hey, whatever you got to do. But anyway, so in the '90s, you get North Star. But what's curious is the title got canceled not too long after that, and we didn't. You know, North Star kind of just disappeared down the memory hole for a, quite a while, and then he shows back up uh, in, in a more prominent way. I would say he would pop up every now and then, but not with any kind of stories that really resonated with anyone. So he, he pops up as part of Mark Millar's uh, Enemy of the State storyline where he is killed and turned into an agent of the hand, kind of resurrected like Electra, so brainwashed. And they eventually get him out of that. But that was kind of the, uh, we got to see a badass North Star. One of the parts I liked about that storyline is that North Star has some pretty incredible powers, but he was, uh, you know, the, the original Alpha Flight kind of had a lot of almost soap opera drama uh, type. And then we, we didn't really get to see North Star cut loose as a major character, but he was. And so you have this gay character from the 90s who is, you know, existing, but they kind of hit him around for a while. And then he pops back up and he's, uh, they did some jokey stuff back in Ultimate X-Men uh, with him that was just kind of eye rolling. And then, you know, he finally, they're going to, we're going to put him in Astonishing X-Men. And then uh, Marjorie Liu, I'm pretty sure uh, was one who was writing this at the time. Um, she they build up to this this wedding. So the wedding at, and at the time you've got uh, you've got Iceman and I I'll be honest I cannot remember if Iceman had come out at this point or not. I want to say no in 2012. I think this was this pre Iceman coming out, but I may be wildly wrong about that. You had Karma, who again I I'm not sure if she had come out at this point, and then you have Northstar. Um, and they are, the, 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 the crazy part is this couple's still married. So, you know, good on Marvel for that. Even through Krakoa, Krakoa and everything else, we have seen, uh, Kyle show up in bits and X factor and all that is fine. But the comic, uh, is the, the, there's, there's a whole bunch of weird parts. I mean, they drew, you know, Michael Bloomberg into the comic and he looked just, just strange. They had this, there, there was a storm is, is floating flowers using her powers. There, there is like this, this very, it, it's, it's just, um, an odd bit. You get a lot of lines in there that made it unclear kind of what exactly people were going for. Uh, rogue, uh, is making a comment of like, I'm sure I'm just being sentimental, but I can't help but wonder if my mother's ever thought about getting married and if it would have even made a difference. Um, you know, we're talking about mystique and, and, uh, destiny here. Uh, who were definitely super villains during this time period, and and Destiny's dead uh, during. Uh, so I mean, it, I don't know. It's it's got a lot of kind of odd material in here. Uh, they do get married in Central Park. It's nice. It's a it's a, it's a wedding. It's not a wedding where it's not like a WWE wedding where there's like cakes and you know people coming in to to destroy things. Um, and it, but it's also it's it's understated for a comic, which was it is pretty much. Pardon the pun. It was a straight up wedding. It was just they, they just had a, a wedding, which was which was nice. I, I think that's that's fine. Um, the 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 part that a lot of people point out that they dislike, it came with a very weird scene. Um, nobody. So first off, um, nobody is really like oh gay marriage, 
uh, in the comic. Uh, because, and of course they're not, because one, it's 2012, and this this topic had been settled for quite a while. And two, you know, it's the X Men who are, you know, uh, are, are I mean, they're they're they've been a progressive team for a long time. So you're not like you're not going to see like Storm come around going, you know, I don't really approve of this gay marriage. Everybody's happy with it, but. Um, it felt like Marjorie Lou wanted to um, kind of put everybody in this. So she 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 wants to acknowledge homophobia, but she does it in a very weird way um, by throwing in Warbird, who is a uh, a Shi'ar warrior, not Carol Danvers, um, who's kind of hanging out with the X Men at this time, and Warbird says she doesn't believe in it. So she's representing the. I guess men marry women and that's it kind of perspective, except she's a Shi'ar warrior. She, it's an alien that you're doing this with. And we've seen other scenes involving kind of blood rituals and all kinds. Of, I mean, uh, it's, it's a weird, uh, the, the, the comment made at the time, which again, just seemed to irritate everybody was that this was a realistic look at homophobia and how to deal with close minded family and friends. Sure, except it's uh, again, you're, it's it's Warbird. Like I, I mean, I get the dynamic of like you don't want to put like like uh, uh, you know havoc in there. You don't want to put like Alex being like I, I believe I believe this is wrong because yeah, then you're, you're going to have to deal with that in future comics. Like you, nobody, but Warbird it, it it came across as like nah, nobody cares about stupid Warbird. We can just gonna, but I mean that character has shown up since, and I mean are, are the it, it's just it was it was a weird scene. Uh, it's an it's an alien. Uh, it's it's all strange. Um, it's just <laughs> it's it it stands out as being weird because North Star is like oh kind of sad like uh, my 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 uh, I guess we're gonna deal with bigotry everywhere. But from from the Shi'ar, I mean I, I I guess I don't know. It it always felt very. I guess cowardly. If you're gonna if you're gonna put that scene in there, and if you're gonna represent homophobia, then damn it, get Sam Guthrie or somebody in there to kind of represent this scene, and don't kind of pawn it off on Warbird. It was just it was just weird. Um, it, it's it's just weird. Plus, Warbird was um, was all horny for uh, Iceman, as I recall, uh, back when uh, he was hanging out with Wolverine, and she would always be kind of coming on to him and. I don't know. It's just so much of the X-Men history, if you really look at it through a lens of kind of the past, gets really weird really fast. Uh, from Kitty Pride, you know, using the N-word a few times, and then <laughs> just like if you go back and you try and like map it all in your head, it's like there's a big collection of kind of crazy stuff. I mean, I, I was going back and reading uh, some issues of X Factor with Louis Simonson, and you've got uh, Iceman, who is not just in love with Opal, but like he's willing to risk his life for Opal, and like that's his girl, and he is the, it's it's the love of his life. Damn it! I mean, I think there's there's some dialogue in there about how it's like I feel more strongly about Opal, the Scott, than you do about Gene, and it's it I, so none of this stuff uh, makes any any sense here. Um, the the comic ends with North Star and Kyle uh, kissing and then flying into the air. I always uh, in when I see the, when I see people doing this and it, it, male female two men whatever it happens to be, um, it's always kind of funny because uh, I think you couldn't just stand on his feet and fly into the air like that's that's not how the powers would. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I, I like you, that wouldn't be a stable kiss uh, is I guess what I'm I'm putting. Um, they. It, it, it's curious to me that um, they, like they said, they have stayed together. There really haven't been this comments of uh, marriage will limit the character. Um, I think that, you know, within the halls of Marvel, nobody wants to break up a, a same sex relationship in that regard, which is a little bit hypocritical. I mean, the same rules should apply for same sex or, or, um, or uh, you know, a traditional straight relationship. So I, it, it's, and I don't think the answer there is you break up the, the gay marriage. I think, you know, you don't have to, be so merciless about saying that marriage should limit the character, which is what, uh, uh, you know, is, is the constant comment that marriage limits characters. And that's why you shouldn't have it. Um, you know, you, you shouldn't have it doing this. Um, as I mentioned, there are people on both sides of this. Some of the people who were, uh, I guess progressive people or pro gay marriage. Uh, I if in 2021, it's weird even saying things like that. It's like, I, this is a, this is a, 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 nobody's fighting this fight anymore. I mean, I don't think 
anyway. Uh, but the the there were a bunch of people who were pro progressive marriage who did not want to see them get married because uh, it was it was a cheap gimmick. I think you probably could argue that that Marvel did hype this up as a a wedding, you know, and and so there was definitely some marketing behind it and. You know, some people don't like to have gay marriage or LGBTQ issues market in such a way. It feels like a lot of people have gotten over that now because that's there's tons of marketing for for that. Uh, but there was that there was that criticism, and then there was this this marriage will limit the character and and will hurt North Star as a as a character. Now, again, like I said at the beginning, nobody was doing anything with North Star. Like North Star was kind of nowhere. And I think that if if the fear was that they would do this to North Star and then they'd kind of erase it down the road, I mean, I guess, but maybe a better solution should be let's not erase these things. Um, that seems kind of kind of dumb. But anyway, in the end, nobody cared. Um, I remember this this thing this is again 2012, and there were some salty people for sure that uh, that were just pissed about this entire event going down. I think that probably looks kind of ridiculous in hindsight. I mean, again, this is this is 2012. We're almost 10 years removed from it. And, you know, I, I, good for Marvel keeping the marriage together. That's good. Did it matter? I mean, you know, I guess. I, have we done much with Northstar? No, it would be nice. They're, they've got him in, again, an X-Factor right now. It's kind of a, you know, death detective. But I, I would love to see them do something real with North Star because he's a powerful character and I think there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. And so ah, about every 10 years, somebody gives it a go. So anyway, there you go. There's, there's your, uh, there's your wedding that, you know, a wedding without uh, pies in the face. So uh, sure. Uh, hey, like and subscribe and thanks for listening.